In the final video of this series, we shall discuss the following topics. First, the interactive title for the report. Second, apply some format inside the title text. Finally, the procedure to make periodical update for our report. Now let's start with the interactive title. As you can observe here, if I change it, the hierarchy, the title will change. Select construction, it will be reduced to overall and construction. Procurement and overall. So the interactive is related to the tables related to this hierarchy. To do this interactive title, let's open a new page. Let me add a slicer and I will use the phases value from phases table. Let me make it bigger. And I will add the card for the title. Now I want to read the phases in the slicer to the card. I will create measure, call it phase title. To read the value from the slicer, I will use function called selected value. Whatever value here we want to read, I will read it from the table and the related field. So I will take phase, phases table, phases field and enter. Let me select the card and assign the measure to the field. As you can see here, it takes the same value. What that means? Now the slicers is filtering the table. So if I read by selected value, the table and the field, I will get the filtered value. But this selected value is using for one value only, not multiple. Now, if I select construction, it will be changed and so on. Now, let me change this slicer to our hierarchy slicer. And I will add to the fields under phases. I will add from work table, work. And open. Now, if I selected the construction, it will read the construction. If I selected the structure, I should change here the measure. So first, I'm reading here the selected value and let me add text and selected value of work table and work field, the same. If I use here the finishing, it will be the same. If I selected construction as an overall, it will not read the work value as it contains multiple values. The selected value is reading only one single record or one single value. If I selected here the construction for the, the phase title, I should put here one condition to make these slashes not appear. I will use if I have one function called has one value. This testing if the slicer is getting more than one value for specific field like the work or multiple value. If I said has one value for work dot work comma. If yes, he will make the slashes and selected value. If no, blank. So if I selected the exact construction as a phases, the work will be multiple values, so it will be blank. If I select structure, means that it will be one value and it will make the slashes and the work value. I hope that is clear. Now let's return back to our report and 
see the measures that we are using for our title. This is the measure, current path. I make it readable by adding variables. The first variable is reading the overall from the WPS overall. The pH is reading from the phases, phases, and work and floors if we need. This value will be read from the tables through the slicer. I make here condition about if this selected value is null, when you select multiple value for the phases, it will give me null as a value. So if it is not null, I will put the slashes and the value and the same for the war and the same on the floor. I hope that is clear. For the second part to make some format for the title, let me add a new page and I will add visual called HTML content. Get more visuals. Search for HTML content. It is a free visual. Add. Okay. Let me add it to the report. As an example, I will create one measure contains text. New measure. HTML text equal. I will add simple text for example. Our report for work and phases. Enter. Let me add this measure as a value for the HTML content. I make the font bigger. Okay, so this is a simple text. If you review the HTML language, which is very simple language, for the word work, I will make it bold. I will add tag B, and after the work, I will add closing tag, and enter. As you can see here, because of the tag opened and closed, the word between these tags will be bold. If I want change the color of the face, simply open tag, font, color, equal red, close, and after the word, I will close the font. Perfect. So now, we can control the format of the text. Keep in mind that all these tags inside the text. Let me add now hierarchy here. I will add the phases as we discussed before and the work. I want to change the name of the work and the phases with the current work and phases. So I will use the selected value. Now let's read the HTML text. To convert any part of the text to a value from the slicer, let me select the word and I will close by double quotation the previous text and and sign and and the quotation for the next text. Between these two and I will put the value that we need from the slicer, which selected value of work and work field. For the phases, the same. Perfect. Now, if I change it to finishing work, it will be changed here. If I go to the HTML text again, and between the, this bold, I can put font, color, equal, blue, close and before the fold I will close the font perfect so it is working fine to go in depth in this you should study HTML codes which is easy and you can apply it here through the HTML content I hope that's clear finally let's do 
the update of the report and feel the easiestness of the process. For updating Primavera, I will make it quick, but you can review the second video I have made in this series. Now let's update Primavera project. Schedule the project to data date 1st of December 21. Let's export the data in Excel format as previous update. I will update the Power BI report now. In Power BI, we will go to Home, under Transfer Data, Data Source Setting. Let's select the path of the file, Change Source. I will change the source to the new file data. Browse. Select the file, Open. OK and close. Then apply changes. You can notice that the data changed and the overall progress updated. You can compare the data with the data came from Primavera. Perfect. As you have noticed, after updating Primavera file and exported the Excel file, in less than a minute, we have updated the Power BI report. So the effort of this report is only to design it, but the update happened without any extra effort. We have reached the end of the report. I hope you enjoyed this report and the automation process. This report is only for the beginner stage. Many topics like Gantt chart, cost distribution, resource distribution, and many advanced topics will be discussed later. To the next videos and series, enjoy automation.